Thank you, Denise. At this time, I'd like to call the class salutatorian to the stage, Mr. John Wiley. Friends, family, students, teachers, faculty, administrators, members of the Board of Education and Town Council, Mr. Bing, Mr. Jennings, and the Township of Bloomfield for giving us this gorgeous new field, and of course, my brothers and sisters graduating today. Thank you so much for making this everything it turned out to be. So, class of 2012, let me give it to you straight. I'm breaking up with you. I like to start by setting the record straight it's not you, it's me, I swear. What we had was more than special. I spent four of the best years of my life with you. And this breaks my heart to say, but I think it's about time we start seeing other people. <laughs> to my credit, I'm doing this in person, not over a text message, and we already went to prom together, so there's no awkward returning of dresses. <laughs> and since this is high school, after all, I think it's only fitting we Facebook stalk the life out of each other, at least until the 10-year reunion. Class of 2012, does this sound like a deal? Good. It's settled then. I already cleaned out our locker. <laughs> well, now that all the romantic tension has been diffused, I'd like to start by talking about the real occasion. I'm not actually breaking up with you. Let's make that much clear. Yes, you can still spend your summer with a tub of ice cream listening to Dell, but that is purely optional. And yes, this day is important, but for completely different reasons. When deciding on what to say today, my main concern was what makes a high school graduation so special. As Nietzsche would say, other birds will fly farther, yet today is something incredible. And once I started to actually list all the important other days in human life, I realized exactly why. The day you were born must have been a beautiful thing, but it wasn't your day. You don't even remember it. It belonged to your family, who watched you grow for nine months. Your first word, the day you started walking, the day you started pooping in the right place. Beautiful days also, I'd say so, but you were too young to celebrate. And that first day of kindergarten, the fancy clothes, the pictures, the cutting up the metaphorical umbilical cord. Was that your day? Not quite. Moving onward, you learned to ride a bike, to tie your shoes, adding, subtracting, multiplication, short division, long division, fraction division, polynomial division, more strange forms of division than you can count. And yet, what's the product? Those were glorious days, and yet, they belong to hardworking teachers. And moving past high school, you may choose to go to college. And when you graduate from there, thousands upon thousands of dollars later, you better believe your parents will be the ones celebrating. Then, maybe you'll get married. That day will certainly not belong to you alone. And if you decide upon having children, the parents can attest to this, forget it, nothing will be about you anymore. And that leaves this moment right here. You spent the past 18 years figuring out just who you've been. And you'll spend the rest of them deciding precisely where you're going with that person. And maybe more than a breakup, today is a marriage. A marriage of two people, who you've been and who you're going to be. And even more than that, today is a birth. What exactly is born today, only you can truly say. But I think it's safe to say the person who woke up this morning will not be the same person who wakes up tomorrow. Our parents, family, teachers, and loved ones have just finished writing the first chapter in our lives. And today, happily, reluctantly, and proudly, they're handing over the pen. This is our story now. Today is the first day of our lives. In life, there are two kinds of people. The first kind is a lovely variety. They're kind who smile a lot, even when they don't especially know what they're talking about. They tend to shrug when they speak, never break many bones or collect many bruises. At the end of their lives, they can weigh all the good in one hand and the bad in the other, and it's probably about balance. Nothing much will ever be taken from them, and nothing much will be given to them either. I am glad to say, class of 2012, this is not the group I see before me. We are the fighters. When we were first told we couldn't graduate at Foley Field today, we could have just surrendered right there, but the response was incredible. What was anger at first quickly changed into determination and leadership. And I believe that's what made the administration ultimately change their decision. As you can see, Mother Nature made a few interesting decisions of her own. But I am so proud we made it here today. And I couldn't even dream of a more passionate and promising group 
to be graduating with. I can only hope you take all that passion from here and bring it out into the world. God knows we need it. As I look back on the past four years, they've been nothing I expected them to be. But as I graduate, I can honestly say they've been everything I needed. I believe I'm speaking for everyone today when I say these have been the worst four years and the best four years of our lives. As I look back, I've made friends I honestly couldn't live without, and I've lost some friends I swore I couldn't live without either. It's been hell and it's been heaven. I've made some of the worst decisions of my life, but most of the best ones too. And if I could go back and change anything, I wouldn't. All these memories are a blessing, even the painful ones. Whether we've been fortunately unfortunate or unfortunately fortunate, or a little bit of the both, I cannot say. But I can say this, throughout our lives, we've been told this moment would be bittersweet. But now I understand any bitterness can only add to the flavor when the future looks so sweet. Class of 2012, today is the first day of your life. What day is it going to be? Well done, Mr. Wiley. No pressure on our class valedictorian, Mr. Richard Lee.